Welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium for Origin 2 1993. 38th clash of the two states. 12th series. And they're waiting for them now. The Blues of New South Wales. The Maroons of Queensland. The build-up. All but over. Laurie Daly coming down the tunnel with the two East Blues. One victory under their belts. They can wrap it up right here tonight. May 17. And listen to the thunderous applause. The crowd around 41,000. Daly takes them out. This is going to be sensational stuff. Already a night of tremendous entertainment. But now the main event. Let's have a look at the team card with Peter Sterling, the Blues team. There's a the starting lineup for New South Wales. Brasher at fullback, plenty of speed on the wings, Wishart Eddinghouse, and Fittler and McGregor in the centres. Daly captain at 5'8 with Stewart at the half. Lazarus and Roberts in the front row. McCormick, the new man into the side at hooker. Sirenan, Harrigan and Mackay make up the back row. And of course the coach is Phil Gould. Robbie McCormick plays his second origin match. Big job, he's in there for Benny Elias. Block has already said that the Blues are going to miss little bouncing Benny. Paul Serenan injured in Origin 1. Big doubts about him making it here tonight. And Ian Roberts battling along with Martin Bella for that other Australian prop possession. St George's Brad Mackay. Australian fullback currently, Tim Brasher. Very cold night here tonight, Ray. The players trying to get as loose as possible. Difficult to warm up in the sheds. New South Wales sides normally don't go out the back to warm up. They stay in the sheds. So important that these guys are ready to go as soon as the whistle blows. And now the big fella, Mal Meninga, takes the Maroons of Queensland out of their dressing shed, hoping to come back at half-time on top of the New South Wales Blues and well on their way to making it 1-1 in the series. They haven't won here at the stadium since 89. And here they are now. They get a real New South Wales reception. Plenty of Queenslanders made the trip down though. Oh boy, they haven't forgotten the bouncing Benny. Fireworks light the skies. A night of great pressure for young Adrian Brunker. Martin Bella already pumped up. Loves Origin football. He's never let them down. Here's the team with Fatty. Here's the team of legends. Shearer's the fullback. Brunker and Khan on the wings. Meninga's the gaffer. He'll be joined by Coyne in the centres. Wallers and Langer the halves. The big front row there, Martin Bella. Watch for a big game from him. Holmes his front row partner. Wallers is the hooker and the hard-working backer of Larson, Gilmeister, Bobby Lindner, and the king himself, Mr State of Origin, Wally Lewis, is the coach. 37 games they've played, Queensland have won 21 of them. Meninga calling the Maroons in around him. He's also calling for the reserves to come in, or the players on the bench, laying down the law to his players. I see Steve Jackson in 16's come over. The other three interchange players. A real look of determination on the Maroons' faces. The hardest part is the waiting for these kind of games. That's now over, or about to be over. A very pensive looking Laurie Daly, just going through things in his mind, knowing what's required of him. His partner in crime, Ricky Stewart, looking for another big game to keep the pressure on. Stand by for the national anthem to be sung by the fabulous Julie Anthony.
the second state of origin for 1993 at the Sydney Football Stadium. The crowd goes back to their seats. The rehearsals are over. Bring on the main event. Eddie Ward's in charge. The Blues a chance to wrap it up here. The Maroons, they want to take it back to Lang Park. That's where they'd like to decide this one. Although the breeze tends to swirl here at the football stadium, it does look as though New South Wales will have the luxury of whatever breeze there is in this first 40 minutes. Again, the kicking games of both teams. It's an important part of the game plans of both coaches. Field, territory and possession. Crucial for both sides. Just waiting for Adrian Branca. In fact, he was looking for the sand boy to give him a mound to kick off from. And is this an indication of who's going to take the goal kicks, bringing Branca in off the wing to get boot to ball? Queensland then. Left to right. Branca starts. Origin 2. Lazarus taken in the first tackle. 20 metres out from his own line. Mackay now. Harrigan wedging back in behind to play the ball. Early kick for Stewart. Bouncing down for Dale Shearer back on his 20 metre line a little bit worse than that the Blues go up and they take Shearer but they're inside the 10 penalty goes to Queensland he's yes, kicking early in the count there and after only three tackles they don't want to play in their territory and it was Dale Shearer who fielded the kick he got the unlucky bounce well, let's uh, just have a look where New yeah. South Wales are he's about to pick the ball up now if they're not outside 10 metres oh. I'm not here well they were 20 metres away Good work, Eddie. Tap taken by the Queenslanders, and Bella takes it up to the Blues reception committee. Face ball for Mark Hone. He's taken by the Blues defence and forced down. Nussen, right in the centre of the park. Filled to capacity the Sydney Football Stadium. New South Wales meeting their opponents in threes in defence. Steve Walters. This is their last now. Meninga. Right-footed kick into that corner. Brasher watches it with an eagle eye. And back out to the 22 for the restart. A little bit unlucky there was Mel Meninga. Trying to put the ball down so that either it would stay in the field of play and put pressure on the New South Wales side or get into the in-goal area. It did neither. Now New South Wales, 23 metres out centre field, looking to work the ball out. Well, Brad Mackay got himself in front of the dummy half. McCormick had to take it himself. Stewart now, across for Serenin. Serenin has taken it to the 30 metre line. McCormick for Stewart, they're going to put pressure on Stewart. In fact, they've been able to hold his progress. Just outside the 20 metre line. Fittler. Now they're going to put charge down pressure on him too. Oh, that's great work by Queensland. This is the last. Can they get a kick in this time? Stewart does that. The ball bounces down. And uh, down to the 20-metre line it goes. Willie Kahn comes away. Little facial massage there from Daly. Martin Bella. Eddie Ward has got them back 10 metres at the moment. Bobby Lender. There's the wide shot giving you an idea of just how far the ref has got them back. That'll be Ward's major, major job in the early part to keep them apart. Short ball from Walters put down. Penalty goes to the Maroons. He's going for offside again. And now he's taking another quick tap out to Meninga. Meninga now crosses the halfway. He beat one attempted tackle by Paul McGregor. 
Brought down 35 out from the New South Wales line. Away for Langer. Cut out pass for Larson. Larson is 32 metres out from the Blues line. Bella. Bella met and accepted by Roberts. Now Langer. Held it back. Gave Walters a chance. 12 metres from the line. Back and away for Langer on the right. He kicks for the outside backs. Here's a try. No, no he's offside. Oh. He's in front of the kicker. Yes, I think there's little doubt there Willie Kahn was in front. Langer was certainly looking to pick him out. And this will show it very nicely. I reckon oh, he's well, onside. It's, yeah, looking at it from that angle. He's dead set onside. It's a try. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but look at the Well, ball. it should have been. Well, Steve Roach looking at the, the high shot. There's no doubt Khan was onside. Yeah, we're very lucky. We saw the replay down here too. Khan was onside. The Queensland have to rely heavily on Martin Bella early in this game to take them forward. Well, look, given they've got the football Queensland tonight, they're throwing the ball around. They're using a lot of face balls to take pressure off the, the ball receivers and uh, they're creating some space for themselves. Played by Roberts, fed by McCormack, given away by Stewart, Siren and out wide, and it's a penalty to the Blues. Quick tap taken by Daly. 35, 35 metres for the Queensland line now. Stewart switching the point of the attack. McCormack giving it off for McGregor. But the Queenslanders, they're really coming up fast in defence. Loads of pressure on New South Wales. And most importantly, Ray Queensland coming up on both sides of the ruck. A couple of switches haven't worked for the New South Wales side as Paul Harrigan makes a charge to take him 31 out. Sirenen comes the blind side again. Sirenen attracting plenty of attention. Five of them got involved, would you believe? A handful of them. Stewart goes for the bomb. It worked in Origin 1. Shearer! Oh, magnificent stuff from Rowdy Shearer. Oh, he's a genius, Rowdy. Took that with consummate ease. Now the quick tap. They'll get some space here. And Tim Brash is still down for New South Wales. He's the best chaser of bombs in the team. And ended up on the ground before the ball even landed. Taking a long time to come back into position. And, and Gary, Gary Larson Lark also down. Played by Linda. Special from the Harrigan. Langer, short ball, Walters, again for Meninga. Inside comes Brunker, and he's met by Daly. Great defence here. Now Langer tries to open them up, finds Brunker. Tackled 38 metres out. Gary Larson leaving the field, hobbling off on the last tackle. Langer again working overtime. Tim Brasher. There goes Gary Larson, taken from the field. It's a blow for Larson, because Larson's their, their chief defender. Well, they haven't replaced him with a bad defender. Number Billy 17 Moore. is on, Billy Moore. Mackay. Well, Queensland, they've started this match with great intensity. They're trying to put New South Wales off their game early on. One of the differences we've seen with this start is Ricky Stewart was going to kick it before he caught it. He's going to say that Queensland getting out of dummy half well, the marker defence isn't as effective for New South Wales. Stewart, you saw, just took his eyes off the ball. Scrum not satisfactory to Eddie Ward's liking anyway. In a game. Again, he doesn't like it. He's worried about Mackay. In fact, he's worried about the New South Wales pack. If he's that worried, why doesn't he penalise? Walters, cut out pass, finds Meninga, who finds Brunker. Adrian Brunker getting plenty of work early on. Billy Moore quickly into the action. 20 metres out from the line. Now Mark Ho. Short pass away for Trevor Gilmeister. 15 metres out now. 
Langer runs to the line, is able to stand and get it away. Here's a chance. Walter's away now. Gilmeister again tackled. Kevin Walters organising the backs. Langer finds Walters, but he goes without it. New South Wales come up with the football. And Alan Langer tonight is running the football and he's putting doubt in the New South Wales players' minds. Something he didn't do in the first game, but he's creating some havoc out there for the Maroons. Stewart, long ball away for Daly. Daly tried to get between them. He beat Kevin Walters, but he couldn't get away from Mark Coyne. Sirenen now, winds it right up. Now that's a great run. Working very nicely on the blind side is Paul Sirenen. 15 metres there. To get New South Wales out of some trouble as Harrigan now takes it 40 metres out. He's a good drive from the New South Wales back row. Stewart for the kick. This time he had more time. And it's a great kick. And it's a great kick for Queensland. That is a superb kick. Give yourself another go. Didn't it go in the touching goal? Yeah, we're only about 700 miles away from it. You should have been able to see it. You've got the big torpedo kick going. And there you'll see just in the field of play. Well, this will even show it. Well, hang on. It's gone over the place. But there's the touch coming down. He knows what's happening. Yeah, he's 700 miles away too. Queensland winning the scrum. Dale Shearer. Rowdy Shearer, of course, in the side at the expense of Gary Belcher. Quite a controversial sacking. Bella. Reward said play on. Play by Steve Walters. Billy Moore. Harrigan got him with another special. To the left. Misunderstanding, Meninga's got it. Rushes away McCormick, wrapped up by McGregor. This is their last. Langer. Good piece of evasive work by Alan Langer. Brasher. Wrapped up by Kevin Walters. Ettinghausen. Wisher, the two wingers coming in. That's the first time they've touched the ball. Daly, Stewart, McGregor on the inside. Good defence by Bob Linder. Roberts. McCormick wrapped up by Bella. No score on the board, although Queensland should have been given a try about five minutes back. Shearer cleans up, flip passes, away goes Brunker, outside the 30 metre line. Brilliant work there from Dale Shearer, a lot of pressure coming through from the chases of the kick, and to have the confidence to throw the flick pass to Brunker, show that Queensland are really on their game tonight, moving the ball around. Here's Gilmeister making the charge, but hitting another big tackle. Well, it's been a... A furious start, Gene. We've come to expect it. But really, haven't the Queenslanders come on with intensity? Yeah, what a difference two weeks makes, Ray. Just an update on uh, Gary Larson's injury. It's an ankle injury, uh, ligament damage. And they've just given him a couple of minutes to see if he can bear some weight on it, and then they'll make a decision whether to return to the field. Gene Miles, part of our commentary team, one of the great legends of origin football. In fact, they're all with us tonight. Sterling, Vorton, Roach, Miles... Meninga goes out on the blind side, waits the kick into the end goal. Brashers obliged to bring it back. Brunker takes him five metres back into the field of play. Eddinghausen. This is Lazarus. Stewart. Mackay. Mark Coyne standing up very flat in defence. Making some valuable uh, contributions to the Queensland tackle count. Played by Wishart now. Harrigan takes it up. He's handed out some very heavy tackling. And Ray, the 
the best time to attack with the football is when the opposition don't expect you to. As Ricky Stewart again drives at 50 metres towards the sideline and finds touch. 30 out from the Queensland line. And both teams have shown that they're not scared to throw the ball two and three wide passes in their own 10 metre area from their own line. So a lot of confidence out there. Steve Roach, the kicking game from Ricky Stewart has picked up. Does that mean the wind's picked up? I thought his first two or three kicks, he, he struggled a little bit to get any great distance. No, it hasn't really, Sterlo, but the wind is favouring the New South Wales side in the first half, but that is the difference at the moment. Alan Langer's kicking game is like a pop gun compared to Ricky Stewart's. So Langer feeds. Queensland wins. Dale Shearer wrapped up. Back on his own 30 metre line. Langer from acting half got it away. Walters gave the pass. Mark Coyne tried to make the break. 35 out from his own line. No score. 15 minutes of the match gone. Bella playing it. Steve Walters giving it for Langer. Now Gilmeister out wide. Langer again. Meninga, a short pass, Billy Moore, he was looking for his winger to go inside, Brunker did that. But Andrew Ettinghausen wrapped him up in defence. Langer now, sends it down to Tim Brasher. Brasher comes off his 10 metre line. Stewart, a dummy half, Daly, across for Wishart. New South Wales try as they might. There's not even a half break on offer. What about the performance of this guy in the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, Ian Roberts? He's already come up with 13 tackles and hit the ball up three or four times. And every one of those 13 tackles has counted. It's been a great confrontation between the two front rowers and back rowers of these two sides. Again, they go wide, New South Wales. And Laurie Daly doubles around to take the ball back from McGregor. Eddinghausen, Stewart, away from one, gets it off the left foot. Khan has to go back to the 10 metre line. Shearer is back with him. Mackay comes down the park. Fittler makes the tackle with Mackay. Shearer, outside the 20. Linda, now Coyne. Coyne wrapped up by Mackay. St. George on St. George. Linda again, back slammed to the ground. Queensland continue to use this ball wide and look for gaps out there. It's only a matter of time before one comes. He said, well, sometimes are very stretched and Queensland always seem to have the numbers out there. Steve Walters. He's caused some problems out there Mal, hasn't he, Paul? On two occasions, he's, he's pushed players off fairly easily. Now, this is the best start I've seen Mel have in a State of Origin game or any game for, uh, for a couple of years. He's heavily involved. And the more he gets involved, the better Queensland will go. Langer's kick, rolling into the end goal for Brasher to bring it back. Eddinghausen will have to run it. Use Wishart instead. Sideline, Gene Miles. So the reason we're seeing free-throwing play from both sides is that uh, Eddie Ward is keeping a very big 10 metres and, and the, both sides aren't afraid to throw the ball around. Away from Stewart, a long ball for Daly. They're trying to reach the edges. Now Fittler, Fittler steps across the 40 metre line. He's into uh, Queensland territory. Oh, Wishart great. backs him up. Yeah, but great tackle by Gilmeister in cover. Stewart, rubbing kick, Eddinghausen's coming fast. Knock on both ways. And interesting to see which way was ruled first by Eddie Ward. It's a Queensland turnover. turnover. Queensland ball. But Mark Coyne made a big mistake previously when he let Fittler get on the outside. And here's the instant here, Eddinghausen knocked the ball on there. So Steve Walters, no markers, takes it outside the 20 metre point. This is Billy Moore. 20 minutes of the game gone. Hectic pace. 
coaches probably entertaining the thought of some fresh replacements not too far distant. Tackle number five. Billy Moore. That kick is too full, is it? No, just into the field of play. It would end up being a very good kick as Phil Gould really animated in the huddle there, getting his replacements up to keep warm, Jason Croker and David Gillespie. He looks pretty cool, Wally. He'd be very happy. Very happy with uh, the start by Queensland in the first 20 minutes. Fed and won by New South Wales. Daly finding McGregor. Tries to get around uh, Mamenga. That ball was knocked down by Queensland. So we're back on tackle number one. Mackay. Stewart. Roberts was a second man play. Pass squeezed out the back. Daly. I thought he may have knocked on there. Yeah, it did look that way. Knock on Eddie Wood missed it. I think he's obscured by the, the tackle players. Now he's got Queensland for offside. That's a big turnaround, that isn't it? If there'd have been a knock on, a scrum feed possession for Queensland. Yeah, the knock on off the left hand there by Daly. Players get a, a breather in the game. It's been a hectic pace. It makes you wonder. Players such as Sheridan hasn't played for two weeks and carrying still look, looks like an ankle injury. And they will uh, be in the second half. But it's going to be good, re good usage of the replacements, which will get either side home tonight. Trainers on the field in numbers. They're out there working overtime. Pumping some juice into these boys as they gasp for breath. There's no place to hide in origin football. Stewart delivers for Daly, turns it back for Mackay. Very good defence there from Alan Langer, getting up quickly. Saw that they had big numbers, New South Wales, and got in amongst them. Mackay makes another 10 metres by playing it forward, back to Stewart. New South Wales with a good attacking opportunity. McGregor gets the pass away for Illawarra teammate Wishart. But over the sideline side it goes. Queensland will have the loose head and the feed. Good solid defence here by the Maroons. Look at them, they're coming up. That's a very good line. They control the situation well. Coyne didn't let McGregor get too far outside him. And Khan for wish I didn't touch. I think this first 22 minutes of the State of Origin shows what this represented game is all about. Club football is normally very, very intense for 10 minutes. State of Origin stays that way for 80. This is played at a ferocious pace. Mark Coyne. Steve Walters away. Billy Moore tries to make the break, but the defence is equal to him. It's Paul Harrigan again. Sideline, Steve Roach. Yeah, when New South Wales have got the ball, I've been watching the Queensland markers. They've been sprinting out. I don't think they think Robbie McCormack is going to run. I don't think it'll be long before he does run from dummy half. Bobby Linder wrapped up by Brad Mackay. Trevor Gilmeister. They're just beyond the 40 metre line. This is the last. Second state of origin for 93. We welcome viewers through New Zealand and in fact this telecast reaching many people in the world of rugby league in Great Britain and France, Papua New Guinea. Brasher. Brought down on his own 20 metre line. McGregor. Ettinghausen. Robbie McCormick, a chance here maybe to go for a dummy half scoot. Long pass from Stewart finding Daly. Daly steps in and away. Now Harrigan supports and takes it to the 30 metre line. Stewart. Shearer with a long run back over to that corner. He's seen plenty of it tonight. Shearer runs Meninga onside. Meninga tackled back on the 50 metre line. So that's been a 40 metre gain by Dale Shearer. We've seen a little bit of the wizardry of Shearer tonight as Langer throws the dummy half through, but Stewart cleans up. A couple of occasions when they've kicked to him, he hasn't been fighting to pass the football. And Steve Wallace earns his side a penalty. 
This could be the first scoring opportunity of the night. A good run by Wallers. He, he was always offside. I think it's Harrigan who gets caught offside. Never onside at all. Wallers saw that, ran towards him, and more or less forced him to make him make a tackle. And Paul, you'll see here, it looks like Adrian Brunker is coming up to take this goal kick for the Maroons. Meninga has relinquished the goal kicking duties. Now watch Wallers there from dummy half. There's Harrigan, never onside. And makes the tackle anyway. Paul, one area that Queensland are much superior on going back to first day of origin night is the, the speed of the play of the ball. And that allowed, on that occasion, Steve Wallace to get out. But we've seen their, their dummy half runners get out a lot more early in the game than we did see two weeks ago. I think every area they're improving. Their defence is a lot more sting in there. They're really trying to hurt these New South Wales players. They're running a lot harder, spreading the ball a bit wider to take it away from those big blokes like, uh, you know, Lazarus. Who, you know, haven't seen much of Lazarus in the game. So I think the Queensland tactics are working. So the big pack of four, which moved them around. Phil Gould there. Benny Elias just in front of him. 30 metres out, 20 metres in from touch. Adrian Brunker's kick is wide. No goal and brought back into the field of play by Tim Brasher. It's a long run by Brasher. 22 metres in fact. Lazarus. Look at this defence. Harrigan. Something's got to give here shortly. Bailey. Across he fades and finds Fittler. These sides are reading each other so well in defence. They're offering each other nothing. McCormick away for Daly and he puts it down. This will be a turnover. And New South Wales defence not set yet. Quick hands from Queensland needed. Queensland. A golden opportunity for them here. Langer. Hit by Sirenen. This is the second tackle. Billy Moore is brought down. 28 out. 12 in from touch on the far side of the ground. Bella is held on three. Here come loose. Laurie put his hands up, said, wasn't me, sir. Didn't take it out. Martin Bella disagrees. A shake of the head. And that was an opportunity for Queensland. Let's have a look at it. McGregor's got his arm in there. Well, I think there was a New South Wales hand. It's been ripped out. And why didn't Martin Weeks, who was about half a foot away, come in? Stewart. In and out for the Blues to win. Eddinghausen, 25 metres out from his own line. Despite the length of Ricky Stewart's kicking game tonight, the field position has definitely gone to Queensland. The first 30 minutes here, a lot of time spent down in the New South Wales half. On many occasions we've seen Paul Sirenen take the ball out like he just did then. Stewart again, sending Harrigan back into the into the traffic zone, oh, he loses shot. the ball. Trevor Gilmeister, unbelievable, that's what he's there for. Khan, Langer, Walters, Meninga, Shearer, the runaround with Meninga. Brunker's outside the big fella. He's tackled 20 metres out. The Maroons looking hot now. Langer, here they come again. Good pass, Shearer. Billy Moore couldn't handle. Gilmeister's got the ball. Rod Wishart calling for troops. They've got enough there now. Slow play the ball. Bella. Well, Bella coming this way means I get a big line going back the other side. Kevin Wallace looking to create something outside the 5'8 position. Steve Walters. Alan Langer runs to the defence line. Kevin Walters tried it on his own. Five gone. What will they do here? Linda sweeps for Langer. Langer puts the grubber in behind. Brasher cleans up. 
Great pressure by the Maroons. They're throwing this ball around. Use the Wales defence. Give it some credit. It's holding at the moment. And that was the intelligent play, wasn't it? Just to get the ball in there. Force Jim Brasher to come up with a good save. But now, most importantly, get the ball back from the line dropout. Still. Nil all on the scoreboard. The Blues and the Maroons. What a shootout. 41,000, I reckon. And they're loving it here at the stadium. Meninga. Billy Moore. On early into the game, his North Sydney teammate, Gary Larson. Oh. Gilmeister, was he taken high? Ward says play on. 20 metres out. Linda, one of the stars of Lang Park. Langer now, Walters, Shearer, into his back line. Close to an obstruction there. Kevin Walters, Martin Bella, got a pass away, forward pass to home. Now it's Kevin Walters, now Bobby Linda, now Alan Langer, now Meninga. Oh, oh no! no. Scores himself, Mal. There was a forward pass earlier, but no, there wasn't. Queensland should have scored there. Mal Meninga consoles Adrian Broker, but if we have a look at this, I think you'll find Mal. Well, that's definitely forward. A great crisscross here by the Queensland side. Alan Langer finds Mal Meninga. He's got to score from there, surely. Oh, he's over the line, Mal. Yeah, trying to make a bird of it by giving it to Broker. Here's Mal going for the line. ET's come in. Unmarked is Branca and he spills the pill. Touch judge in making a report that concerns Ian Roberts. Yes, that was where we thought it might have been a high tackle. Referee called play on. So is it, and it's a penalty to the Maroons. Oh, Here's yeah. the tackle here. It was a high tackle right around Gilly's head. Didn't hurt him. Well, that's a fair advantage play. That's three rucks ago. Now they will take another shot for goal. Brunker, he's missed a shot at goal and just dropped the pass for a try. So I wonder how his confidence is. Now yeah, that's the question. How would his confidence be? He's had a chance for a try. He's had a chance for a goal. And here he is now, 10 metres in from touch and 20 out. Well, he's probably all right, unless he can hear this commentary. Just giving him a serve, Fatty. He'll get this. Been all Queensland, though, Peter, hasn't it? They're, play, they're playing sensational football. I mean, sure, the Blues are defending well, but Queensland giving themselves every chance to score by changing the point of attack and using different options in every set of six. Yes, they've looked look much more dangerous. They've been able to, to play good field position and move the ball out wide. Meninga and, and Lang are, are really playing great games at the moment. They're, they're looking to create things. They're a real handful at the moment for the New South Wales defence. Branca. There it goes. It's wide again. Still no score. And New South Wales will have to kick off again. The, the, the line drop out to restart. Nothing, nothing. Sideline comments, Steve Roach. Yeah, there's plenty of talk from the Queenslanders down here. They're geeing each other up. The, the New South Wales side have gone a bit quiet. Steve, is there any sign of an interchange at all in this last five or six minutes? Just a fresh player maybe to break the deadlock? No, not at the moment, Pete. Uh, all the four replacements are in the tunnel warming up. Well, here they come again. The wave of Moreau. They've had the better of the first half. Denied one legal try. And should have scored another. Mark Hone. By the same token, they've had plenty of the football. Bella. 22 metres away from the line. Langer, long pass. Walters, round the back. Moore. Dale Shearer floats out a miraculous pass for Brunker. Brunker comes to pressure and he's put down. Nine metres out from the line. Six minutes to go to half-time. Langer fading across the ground. This is the last tackle. Walters, Meninga, 
floats the pass out for Shearer. Here comes the try. No, he's, he's, he's denied the try. Oh, no. Eddie Ward says he lost it. Well, that's unbelievable. All, all Rowdy Shearer had to do was put the ball down. He's tried to do the reverse flick with the triple pike. This is a beautiful pass by Meninga. Shearer's in the fresh air here. Put the step on. Oh, Rowdy, what's doing? <laughs> Simple case of putting the football down. Well, we'll have another look at that at halftime, I'm sure. We've only got to jerk down with pressure, so the referee has ruled that the ball came loose before the ball was put on the deck. And a couple of let-offs for New South Wales have been under enormous pressure for the last five minutes. The car. Well, what could their lead have been? Daly away for McGregor. Daly runs around. Pressure over there for Brunker. Eddinghausen put down 35 metres out. He's played well, Billy Moore, since coming on. Made a couple of telling tackles and got involved out wide in attack. And Sirenen gets the ball to Roberts. Bit of juggling there, but they maintain possession on the last. Played by Roberts. McCormack away for Stewart to clear. How long have New South Wales been in their first half in this last passage of play? Shearer comes back. Replacement getting ready, apparently, for New South Wales. It is David Fairley. Half-time is only four and a half minutes away. Kevin Walters turning it inside. Bobby Linder gave it to Langer. Langer's been in everything. Steve Walters. Away from Kevin Walters, finding Martin Bella. There's an opportunity out wide if Bella could have got the ball away. I think if Fairley comes on, it'll be Siren and the man coming off. Starting to struggle a little bit out there now. As that ball is touched. So all the players on side, Willie Khan coming through, cleans up Tim Brasher. Wishart goes into acting half. They stretch the ball again. Stewart through the hands of Daly to McGregor. Now with Eddinghausen. Brunker makes the tackle. McGregor, Daly, Lazarus. 40 out from their own line. Steve Roach. Yeah, David Fairley coming on for Paul Sear and Sterlo is right. Ciro didn't play last week, so he's uh, just about had enough. Queensland come back with the football. Three and a half minutes of time remaining, first half. Will we see a try prior to half time? The Maroons working for one now. Shearer, Steve Walden, his brother Kevin, 25 metres out. Sirena makes the tackle. Langer. Linda, out wide, Meninga, turns it inside, Willie Khan, Khan doing some stepping, passes the ball over the sideline. Oh, some great play again by the Queenslanders, the last pass, Willie Khan's passed it out to Neville, straight over the touchline, back inside, the defence, keep. it's good defence by the Blues, kept coming, I don't know who he was trying to pass it to. It's actually been very good communication defence for both teams as Paul Sheeran does leave the field with only two and a half minutes left on the clock. The talk out there when players are running angles in, in attack has been good. We've seen Laurie Daly on a couple of occasions stand his ground and that time even though Queensland were keeping the ball alive while forcing the pass here, that's, it's got to have been forward. Yeah, this will be a Queensland feed from the scrum. Not what Phil Gould would have been looking for with two minutes to go. You said, well, it's very keen to use the ball in their own quarter but when they do spin it wide they, they're doing it shorter numbers all the time, or the very best for them, one-on-one -on -one situations. And that's why I think for Queensland, Billy Moore's done such a great job. He's got out there and made the extra man on occasions. Queensland now, with another opportunity in front of half-time. Go, son! Is this the chance they've been looking for? Go, yes! Mel Meninga! Meninga gets the try! Right 
on half time. And they're happy the Maroon. Joe Beauty, it's been coming for 39 minutes and it's finally arrived. Courtesy of a big Melbourne Inga run, Mark Coyne made the initial break. The old runaround move. Coyne got on the outside of McGregor and away he went. The missed tackle, the beautiful inside pass to Meninga, and he beat Brescia. And let's go back to New South Wales trying to force the ball in their own area. That meant the scrum and Queensland coming up with possession. They had to break after the amount of pressure that's been on them. If we have a look at a couple of missed tackles from up high. Just a good run around play here as we freeze it there. You'll see Paul, Paul McGregor down here is the man that Mal Meninga gets out on. Yes, it's Mark Coyne, I'm sorry, getting outside. Now the inside pass to Meninga. There's another missed tackle there from Brasher. But he is a side, isn't he, in full, full cry, Mal Meninga. And that's what fatigue brings about, missed tackles. Two in the one movement there, Meninga scores the opening try. They've been under enormous pressure, New South Wales and Queensland. The last 10 minutes been cracking them open. And uh, we'd love to see this kick go over from the Queensland winger and Adrian Brunt. Third kick for the night. Two penalty shots unsuccessful. Brunker now 12 metres in from touch. Seconds remaining in the first half. Brunker's kick looks OK. He's converted. Meninga's try has been converted. It's half time. Queensland leading New South Wales 6 0. A sensational first half for them. What seemed a fair try for Willie Card was denied early on. Meninga looked like he could have scored earlier himself, and they waited to the 39th minute to score. 6 0 at half time, back in just a moment. Welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium. Second half of the action about to get underway. 6 0 in favour of Queensland. Steve Roach has been in the New South Wales rooms. Yes, Steve. Yes, Ray, it was pretty calm and cool in there. Gus Gould was absolutely wrapped in his players about their defence in the first half. Queensland had enough ball. They've crossed three times but only scored once. He says it's the first time since he's been coaching New South Wales in two years. This is in five games that New South Wales have come in from in behind at half time. And he's telling his players they've got to get out, show them what they're made of and come away with the win. He also wants his kicking game to improve and he also wants the New South Wales players not to force passes. Don't try and win the match in the first minute. They'll win it in the last 40. All right. The cameras, as you can see, inside the New South Wales room. There doesn't seem to be a great deal of panic there. Phil Gould is not that type of coach. He's just going around talking to them now individually. Gene Miles, you've been in the Queensland room. Yes, Ray, as expected, a very cool dressing room. Molly just uh, reading out the stats there. Very happy with the with the guys sharing the work rate around between the forwards and uh, very happy with their sliding defence and keeping New South Wales well inside the territory and making them do it tough to get out of there. Paid special attention to Mark Hone. He has been tremendous. He said he's got him going forward. He's hitting and spinning, rolling out of tackles. He copped a couple of good hits early but hit back very strong. And he also paid uh, attention to Mel and also to Dale Shearer because of... Uh, because of not diving for a try, but uh, he's put that behind him in a 6-0 lead. It's a very good lead. Well, there's Laurie Daly now taking the Blues back out. A lot of work to be done. I know the scoreboard says they're only six behind. But being realistic, Queensland could have scored four tries in the first 40 minutes. New South Wales has to turn that Queensland dominance around if they're to take out the second of the series in 93. Laurie Daly with a lot of work to do out there in the second half. Just looking at New South Wales as they come out onto the field, we see David Gillespie in number 15 will start the second half for the Blues. Fairly, of course, came on late in the first half, and there's Gillespie looking to stiffen up the defence. Quite a few missed tackles at the end of that first half for New South Wales. Steve Roach. Yeah, a bit of news. Uh, Gillespie's on because Ian Roberts has got medial, medial ligament damage to his knee. Well, that's a real blow. Roberts had made 19 tackles in the first half. He was the top of the tackle count. Five hit-ups 
And there's Ian back on the bench with Paul Serenin. Queensland now. Very contrasting dressing rooms, Paul, with Wally having the boys sitting around. Very attentive, the New South Wales players allowed to, to walk and roam around the room. Yeah, very, a strangely quiet Queensland side. Wally's still giving instructions to Alfie's, asking Alfie to G the players up and get them get them going. But Alfie's been the, the king of the first half for mine. He controlled their whole first half. His passing game was great. He ran the football, and that's uh, what created some opportunities for his side. Mel Meninga had the best half football I've seen him have for a long time. Heavily involved the captain leading by example. And Trevor Gilmeister, some of his tackling was, uh, was great. Billy Moore has had a fantastic game since he's been on the football field. And Martin Bella and Mark Hohn, let's not forget them up front. They've done their jobs as well. Gary Larson comes down the field, down the uh, the tunnel there. Injured knee and ankle. Unfortunately for him, he's, he's missed the game after the, the first 10 minutes. So the start of the second half. Brad Mackay sends it deep down into Queensland territory. Bobby Linder comes back. Gets it all but out to the 20 metre line. Meninga comes into the first set of six. Well, that was a great charge from Linder and a tremendous play of the ball. It gave Mel Meninga 10, 15 metres before he got to the New South Wales defence. Got the momentum going and it continues now as Bella gets one out the back to Wallace. He in turn takes the tackle, 30 out centre field. Langer at acting half. Kevin Walters slammed down. Out the back for Shearer to kick and clear. Bouncing down inside the 20 metre line. Brasher, a fumble the first attempt. Good chase by Queensland. So the first tackle was made 15 metres out from the New South Wales line. Played now by Wishart. Daly sweeps it across for Fairley. So Fairley and Gillespie are on the field. Surinam and Roberts are back on the bench. And unlikely that we're going to see any more of Ian Roberts. Stewart. That kick bouncing down. 10 metres into Queensland's area. Willie Khan. Tackler was Brad Mackay. Bella. Good work by the big fella to get back there and offer his services. Steve Walden. Mark Hone. Hone is midway between the halfway and 20 metre line. Steve Walders for Langer. Walders again, the 5'8". Linda out wide, wrapped up by Fittler and Mackay. 35 out. Gilmeister. Goes for the drop goal attempt, it doesn't clear the bar, in fact it goes a fraction to the side. Not surprising to see Langer go for a field goal early on to give him that seven point buffer. He did kick a field goal to win a State of Origin game last year, didn't hit that one too sweetly. Might not be the last attempt we see at a field goal in this game. Played by Glenn Lazarus. This is David Gillespie now. 30 metres away from his own line. Stewart, back and across for Fittler to find Bailey. Bailey promotes McGregor. McGregor gets his pass yeah. to Brasher. That's got to be a penalty. Yeah. Eddie Ward, good, uh, good ruling by Eddie Ward. Held back the New South Wales player. Billy Moore knew that if he let the, the speed men of New South Wales get away, it was Tim Brasher. He'd had trouble picking him up. And the first real incision we've seen from Paul McGregor. Now, a chance for the Tui's Blues. 30 metres out from the line. Gillespie runs into a brick wall tackle from Martin Bella. Away for Stewart, cuts out Harrigan, finds Daly. Then Brett Fittler, Fittler to McKay. McKay, oh, great pulled tackle. down, oh, great tackle. Great tackle, Mark it was Coyne. Mark Coyne. They're now short they spread it, Stewart, wide. Lazarus, Lazarus is eight metres out. Wrapped up and tackled. I'll go straight back the other way. Gillespie. Daly. Brasher is down injured. Daly. Daly. He does it himself. Louis Daly puts it over the line. Yeah, nice 
pressure by New South Wales. They had Queensland caught short out wide, but there was still plenty of traffic in there for Laurie Daly to get through. Such a brilliant player, plenty of defence there. Couple of missed tackles, one by Hone, and he goes straight through Walters and Lindner. Nice play by Laurie Daly, the captain. A big left foot step. We've got a game now going. Hone missed him, so did Walters. Lindner, over goes Laurie. I actually thought the Queensland had started this second half the better. And New South Wales made a couple of little busts. Billy Moore gave away the penalty. That gave them another set of six and more grounds. And this was the, the good break made. Billy Moore misses a tackle. Alan Langer was actually caught out in defence there. Isn't that a tackle by Mark Coyne, though? Yeah, saved the, great saved the initial try. That is exactly the same move they scored off in the first game. On that occasion, he gave to Fittler inside. On the other occasion, he gave to Brasher on the outside in the first game. So it's causing problems, but it makes you wonder about the Queensland defence. First time under pressure in their own 20 metre zone, and they've cracked. Well, then, Lewis, with something to think about a negative. That's the first real negative that's come up for Queensland tonight. Rod Wishart is 15 metres in from touch, he's 20 metres out. The crowd here absolutely went berserk when Daly put it over the line. The noise absolutely deafening. We were at Wembley in October of last year with 75,000. And this crowd is equaling them for decibels, let me tell you. Wishart, can he equalise? He's given it too much. Queensland continue to lead, 6-4. Welcome back. You missed absolutely nothing apart from Dale Shearer carrying the ball back for the kickoff. 6-4 in favour of the Maroons over the Blues. The Roaches and the Toads, they're really having it out here tonight. McCormack. Steve Roach. That's exactly what New South Wales needed. They were very quiet and, and Sterlow was right. Queensland were on top for that first few minutes, but now you can't shut the New South Welshman up. Now they're talking, Steve. They certainly are, right? Harrigan, he's tackled. 30 metres out from the New South Wales line. Long ball required. McCormick delivered for Stewart. Was touched. Oh! Play on. Here's a chance. Fiddler. McCoy. Oh, he'll score. The easiest of tries. Ah, uh, the fortunes of rugby league. It was touched by one of the Queensland players. Ricky Stewart looking to drive the ball deep. It was a good chase, a lot of New South Wales players down there. Four players, in fact, he really had a choice. Well, give us a smile, Phil. 8-6, new leaders. And you'll see here, Phil, uh, Ricky Stewart gets the kick down. And the player coming through to put pressure on him, putting the hand up and got a touch. Well, Brad Mackay scores right under the bar. Miracle for New South Wales. And Billy Moore's the player, the old charge there. It makes you wonder about charge there. As I never charged a ball down in my life. And Billy Moore's charged one down and got the touch. And away you go, try to the Blues. A lucky one. But they're coming back into the game, back to the lead. And you do make your own luck in these games, Fatty. You've never got to a kicker to, to get a charge down. The beauty of it for New South Wales was the fact that they had chased particularly well. And when they did get that fortune, there were two or three players that the ball could have gone to who, who would have scored the try. Talking about negatives as I was a few moments ago. Now, Queensland have really got some worries. Rod Wishart right in front. Eats it up. Two more points. 10-6, New South Wales leading.
Welcome back to the stadium. An incredible start. The second half for New South Wales. Two tries. One for Daly, one for Mackay. The second was a freak of a try. Daly held just outside his 20 metre line and gets a penalty. Everything going New South Wales way in his opening 10 minutes. Mark Coyne up around the ball. Let's it go. Very smart oh. play by Daly. I reckon he's yeah, just let that let ball go. go then. <laughs> about Mark Coyne, oh, come on, sir. But these days, you really just you can't grab the football, can you? You've no, got to wrap the man up. Got to keep your hands right away from the ball. McCormick taking the tap. Glenn Lazarus reaching the halfway mark. Gillespie. Now he's into opposition territory by five metres. Stewart cuts out Harrigan, finds Fairley. Fairley contained with the ball there by Billy Moore. Stewart, long floating pass out to Brad Fittler. Fittler tries to get a pass away, but it's gone forward. So the scrum will go down about five metres on the Queensland side of halfway. Their loose head and feed. Steve Jackson getting some instructions from Wally Lewis. He's about to put the, the Gold Coast front row forward into the game. Worked by Alan Langer, won by Queensland. Kevin Walters away from Al Meninga, and Meninga taken by his Canberra colleague, Laurie Daly. Kevin Walters now, on it goes for Bob Linder. Linder taken by David Fairley, near the halfway mark. Play in the centre of the ground as it's fed by Steve Walters for Mark Ho. Ho now, playing it back, and away it comes for Langer. Then the run around with Walters for the middle field. Langer. Swap there by Gillespie. He's done very well, David Gillespie, since he's been on in the second half. He's hit the ball up very well. His defence is tough. Look at that. Gilmeister. Langer pushing it right. Kevin Walters. That's a forward oh. pass out there. Silly Eddie Ward has got it this time. He's ruled a deliberate forward pass. I think well, he's no, ruled it's, a it's turnover. Changed. I thought the hand going up in the, the penalty position it is in fact the change over see the ball actually floats a little bit forward as well but I did think it was forward when it left the hands Wishart now Stewart fairly wrapped up by three of the Queenslanders Gillespie Langer around the legs hone over the top McCormick decides to go for one of the few times in the game. Stewart appeals for a high tackle on McCormick. Stewart then able to put the kick down the ground. It's only about five metres away from the Queensland line. Brunker. Paul Sirenen has come to the sidelines. Phil Gould is going to throw the Balbane forward back into the game. Willie really Khan tries to buffet his way out from his own 20 metre line. Billy Moore, 41,895 here at the stadium tonight. Martin Bell. Shearer. Turns it back for Steve Walters. This looks like a play that may have well gone horribly wrong. This is the last. I think the plan was to kick on the fourth. Now Shearer gets his kick in. It's a towering torpedo punt that finds the line. 15 metres away from the New South Wales goal line. Good kick by Dale Shearer. Beautiful kick by Rowdy. The experience coming out now. The kick from dummy half is always a good one. You've got your men on side. And he had plenty of time there. The New South Wales mark is not working. I have noticed though all night when New South Wales have kicked the football, whether it be Stewart or anyone else, as Jackson prepares to come on, they have always kicked to Adrian Brunker's wing. Obviously consider that Willie Kahn is a more dangerous player than Brunker, but Willie Kahn hasn't had many opportunities tonight to run the football back. As Big Ciro lumbers out onto the field. Gene Miles, Steve Jackson going on the field. What do you think 
the instructions would have been from Wally Lewis? Well, just to take over from where Mark home. Mark's obviously just run out of puff, and I think it's important now that Jacko gets out there, does the hard work that honey has been doing all night. He can use the football a little bit too, can't he? He, he does have some ball-playing skills. Yeah, it'll come in very handy. It's just important that Queensland keep their composure now, that they're under a little bit of pressure, but now it's up to those experienced guys to, to take over. The biggest crowd for a state of origin at the football stadium, Ray, the 41,895, as you said, the biggest before that, and only a few less, 41,878. The people have turned out to cheer on New South Wales out here tonight. Stuart clearing, sending it way down to the 20 metre line for a quick bring back by Dale Shearer. But Brad Fittler, Fittler goes forward fast in defence. Khan on the end of a Gillespie special. Linda finds Jackson, oh, Daly. Daly took him with a beauty. Cut out pass across the face of Bella, Billy Moore. He's been hit by Harrigan. There's no doubt the Blues have lifted. Linda. This is the last for the Maroon. Langer. Finding the line 30 metres away from the New South Wales goal line. And the Blues are lifting with every tackle blocker. Yeah, they're going to lift even more. Big Paul Sheeran going back on for a, a very good game from Derek David Fairley. He's being replaced. So we're waiting now for this, the scrum to pack down. 30 away from the goal line, Mark Hone. Went, went very well tonight, Mark Hone. His uh, first start in State of Origin. He went pretty well. Stewart works the scrum, New South Wales win it. Wishart is, uh, is barreled in the defence, a defence that really was up inside the five from the, uh, from the set scrub. Daly. Eddinghausen working it away for David Fairley. McCormack. 10-6 in favour of the Blues. Two tries since half-time. Fitler. Got a bad pass. They lost 15 metres on that play. Harrigan. Mackay. Mackay knows the straightest way to the goal line. Stewart. Landing down on the 30 metre lines. Shearer bringing it back. Good chase by McGregor and by Daly. I thought that Dale Shearer might get back into the side after the first game. We didn't expect it to be for Gary Belcher. He really has had a fine game out there tonight, Dale Shearer. The only blot on the copybook, of course, was the drop ball on the try. Apart from that, his running from fullback has been very exciting. Khan wrapped up on the halfway mark. Linda is the acting half. Langer first receiver. Wide ball for Billy Moore, then Mal Meninga turns Dale Shearer in field. One-hander for Jackson, likewise for Steve Walters, wrapped up by Mackay. A lot of passing, but no go forward. Kevin Walters does, and Alan Langer, Alan Langer busts them. Bella, Bella pulled down, 25 out from the line. They've got numbers this way if they come. Langer's got men outside and decides to pass back in to Steve Jackson. Now Khan, he puts the kick over. Brasher was able to field it. Tim Brasher. 10-6, New South Wales. About 18 minutes gone, second half. If Queensland's looking for a strike player to uh, do something for them. They've got one on the bench in Julian O'Neill. Well, he must be thinking of throwing him on very shortly, a player who can do some, create something from nothing. Big hit front, front on there from, from Steve Jackson. Where would you play him, Paul? Well, I've got to get it, I'll get him on there somewhere, possibly maybe on the wing. Maybe at fullback and put Rowdy onto the wing. Shearer draws the defence. Gives Brunka some vacant uh, some vacant land to work in. Linda. That was Darren Smith talking to Wally Lewis, so an interchange player might be coming on. Maybe the Canterbury centre three quarter Darren Smith. Gilmeister oh. on the end of the Harrigan talking. Haven't they had a great duel with two twirls? Steve Walters. Playing the ball back for Mark Coyne. Now Langer, 
Kevin Walbu. Infield pass for Langer to turn back for Gilmeister. He loses the ball. This will be play on advantage. Brescia tackled 20 metres out from his line. Now the referee has called timeout for the blood bin. It's Brett McCann. Darren Smith coming to the sideline now. It remains to be seen where he'll go on. Uh, he can either play second row or centre. At this stage, you would think he'd be taking it. Maybe Wally would be replacing one of the back rowers who might be getting tired. And Jason Craig are getting his first taste of state of origin football. Called into the side. Late notice. Big moment for him in his career. He might have the opportunity to play more representative football in the future. Sereman trying to hammer it away from the 20 metre line. Stewart. Jackson goes for the charge down. Stewart's kick bouncing down on the Queensland 30 metre line. Dale Shearer picked up, driven into the ground. He's been great tonight, Brad Fittler, on those kick chases. Been the first man down there every time. As Queensland looking for a hole, spin the ball wide. There's no hole there for Kevy Wallace, though. Kevin Walters plays the ball and Martin Bella gets it out to the 40 metre line. 10-6. 20 minutes of time remaining. Meninga finds Coyne. Coyne down the sideline. I saw a Queenslander pulled out of the play. It's with Stewart back at his own in goal though. I'll just wait and see if a touch gets well, comes in here. Why hasn't he come in? Willie Kahn was held back then, as was Dale Shearer. Touch judge stands on the touch line. Mashiru was actually more than held back. He ended up on the ground. Great ball there. Now let's have a look. Dalshu was tripped by David Khan. Gillespie. Khan's got it being held back. Where's the touch judge? Having a cup of tea or something? Gillespie now. Incidentally, Darren Smith has gone on for Billy Moore. Stewart. Serenin. This is the last coming up. Sheridan bundled down on his own 30-metre line. Away from Croker at dummy half. Stewart's kick. It's charged down by Bobby Linder. Some work for Brescia. Brescia now. He's away from Linder. He's away from Walden. He's back into the field of play. Oh, good work by young Timmy Brescia. And that's brought the crowd to their feet. Doing everything right, Jim Brescia, in the two State of Origin games. As Jason Croker gets his first touch of the football. Charge down here. Brasher was the first man to react. In fact, the only man to react for New South Wales. Evaded Lindner. Then beat Kevin Walters. And made it to the, well, 15 metres out. So New South Wales continuing to lead by four. Trailed 6 0 at the break. Daly gives McGregor a run. McGregor, he's got support. Here's Eddie oh. and He puts it down. Shearer comes back. Go, Randy. Shearer with a long run for Queensland. Oh, so and he's into touch. Oh, that had to be a try. Paul well, Shearer has come up with a big tackle there. But what do you think, Paul? Paul McGregor just spent so much time trying to position Andrew Eddinghausen properly. How to bomb a try. It all by, came undone. By Paul McGregor. Just jogging up to Rowdy. And that by doing that, that allowed Brunker to put some pressure on Eddinghausen then. And then away went Rowdy up the touch on the Sirin and a great tackle in cover. In those situations, players just better off pinning the ears back and going for a break and then seeing how it unfolds. Brasher tackled, almost on the halfway line. But back to that break, what a beautiful ball by Laurie Daly, Daly, who drew two players, including Meninga, to put McGregor away. There's Croker now. He's done a lot of good things, Laurie Daly, tonight. As Bill Bill wants to know what's wrong with somebody, Laurie Daly's... Harrigan just... strides out! 40 metres from the line. Stewart. Long pass, good hands, Daly. Now over the top for Ettinghausen. Inside pass for Brescia. Brescia, 15 out. Turns it away for McGregor. McGregor's tackled. Seven metres from the line. Penalty to New South Wales. And it's Boy. the sin bin. Mark Coyne, 10 minutes in the sin bin. Great tackle from Trevor Gilmeister to be over there in cover. Mark Coyne actually comes in to try and slow the play down and it's earning 10 minutes off the field. 
touch judge making a report to Eddie Ward Eddie's face shows the strain of origin football doesn't it the penalty has gone to the Blues and they're going to put the ball into touch are they looks like they want to keep the pressure on they can smell a victory Queensland down to 12 men well, that's a game decision there of course if the kick out of Boone successful it would have been six point buffer as Lazarus takes it to within a metre Lazarus to play it McCormack is the acting half Gillespie's with the football hit and spin back for Stewart Stewart steps off his left tries to burrow through three metres from the line the Blues with a chance to wrap it up here Harrigan he's a metre from the line McCormack they're in the centre of the ground that's where they want to be Back it comes for Stewart. He throws the long pass. Eddinghausen can't take it. Meninga, he knocks on. And it goes over the sideline. Well, Adrian Broker went for the intercept there. He's actually hurt himself in the attempt. Ricky Stewart looking to get the pass outside the wide man. And that was the wide man for Queensland. Put some pressure on Eddinghausen. And the ball hit pretty much in between them. Mel can't clean up. And it's a New South Wales feed. So, the scrum worked by Ricky Stewart. The crowd roaring for the Blues now. Fittler into 5-8 from that scrum. Laurie Daly out in the centres. Eddinghausen from Dummy Half. His pass for Sirenen. Look at Sirenen showing strength. Five metres from the line. And short again to the right, Queensland. McCormack finding Stewart. Then for Fittler. Fades across looking for Daly. That he does. Daly is pulled down. Eight metres out from the line. Away from Gillespie. On to Stewart. Pushed on for Fittler. He promotes it wide. He finds Wishart. Wishart is tackled. Eight metres out from the line. Okay, standing defence from Queensland. They've got another couple to go as a ball back to Stewart. Here comes the long ball. Bratcher fields it in the middle of the park. Gets the pass to Eddinghausen. Bumps away from one. Tries to stand in another. Five tackles gone for the Blues. Bratcher, Stewart, he goes to the air. The boom is up there. Down it comes. And it'll be Queensland's ball. Oh, great defence by Queensland. Great defence. Alan Lang was everywhere in the park then, making covering tackles, and now they counter-attack. It's Julian O'Neill, is it, in 14? Yeah, Broker's off. O'Neill's on. 35 out from his own line. Youngest player on the field, Julian O'Neill. Dale Shearer, good pass. Langer, Walters. Now, look at them go. Oh, it's it's good. Smith. Darren Smith is 15 out. He passes, and New South Wales come up with it. Oh, what about this end-to-end -end stuff? Ricky Stewart in trouble on the sidelines now. But Darren Smith just didn't have the speed to go on with it. And through the pass at the end, he should have been, should have held it. He created the overlap here. Kevin Wallace to Darren Smith. Pins the ears back, but you'll see a lot of cover coming. Rod Wishart, the big tackle, off the boot of McCormack, cleaned up by Brasher. 12 minutes to go. New South Wales leading by four. McGregor! Eddinghausen inside. the ground. Eddinghausen's away. Shearer. Shearer chases and makes the tackle. Oh, great work. Tremendous work by Shearer. But Wishart. Wishart will score. Wishart scores for New South Wales. What an incredible game. Uh, sensational play by the Blues. Queensland still down to 12 men. They're being caught short all over the park now. This is a lovely inside ball here by Daly. The fence inside there with just not coming across. McGregor drew and passed very well this time. Great effort by Dale Shearer to turn and chase. Great, ball, great tackle there by Shearer. But from here, there's no one out to the left. Nice pass there. And Wishart running into open space. Bob Melinda couldn't get him. The referee actually ruled that it being touched in flight, so the Queensland marker must have got his hand in, in play there. And Rod Wishart up against a, a forward. He's always going to have the evasion to score the try. The great break made from the other end of the field set it up the previous ruck. 
good inside pass. And Alan Langer was the man who didn't come up with the good defence. You see here, as we freeze it there, Alan Langer is that player there. You see the big gap through the centre there as play continues. And Langer actually hesitated. By that time, the horse had bolted. Eddinghausen set himself up beautifully inside. Thought he'd have the speed. But Dale Shearer, great tackle. They were just caught out for numbers. Look at that on the blind side. There's nobody on the blind side. Well, they just can't keep up anymore, Peter. No, and they're one player short. Bobby Linder, a valiant effort. That's the series. You probably have to say that maybe really calm them. He might have heard going into second marker there, Peter. Well, it, you know, those decisions are tough yeah, to make, I, aren't they? Yeah, At the time, you know. You've got to try and sum up the situation in a split second and when you're tired and you've run the length of the field. But in retrospect, when he looks at the video, that's what he'll believe. Rod Wishart, the try scorer. He's had a tremendous series. 12 metres out, 10 metres off centre, straight between the uprights. And the Blues lead 16 to 6. Football Stadium, a buzz with excitement. Again, we've seen a match played in two halves. This first half was all Queensland. They could have run in four tries. We came out after half time, and the Blues have scored three as Martin Bella leaves the field. But Lane Park was the same, Peter. Well, this is this is one of the most flowing state of origin games I've ever seen. Great work there from Dale Shearer from the kickoff. It may have been a little bit premature, saying it was a ser the series gone. We did see New South Wales scored two tries in the first 10 minutes of this half. Queensland, they only have 12 men. It's a I'll tough hurdle. They're not out of it yet, let me tell you. <laughs> Langer puts the grubber through, and the Wishart opts to take it over the dead ball line. You can get on with me, Fatty. Well, I can hear that Queenslander call coming now. Queensland, Queensland. <laughs> the call's coming from you, unfortunately. Eight minutes and 23 to go, Steve Roach. And Ricky Stewart suffering from cramps, but he'll be back on to save this victory. On you, Blues, Fatty! <laughs> Have a listen to them. Now, Fairley prepares to come back on. I thought, I thought Phil Gould may have given young Jason Taylor a taste of this. I think he just took the dropout, Ray, so in all the confusion, he has snuck out there. Players coming on and off that wheel now. OK. My apologies as Khan plays the ball. Meninga reaches the 30-metre line, turns it away for Darren Smith. Then another loose ball, but Queensland, of course, now they really have to take chances. Gilmeister. And the sad story for Queensland in the last 15 minutes has been their ball control. It's let them down badly. Some passes have gone astray. Here's another chance now. Walters with a wide ball out there and finding Julian O'Neill. Got him for offside, right? Penalty goes to Queensland, 25 out from the New South Wales line. Langer will probably take the tap, a touch judge comes in. Now what is this concerning? Should be a single time off by now. Shearer is pointing at something. Yeah, they're, asking, they're asking the referee to stop the clock. Brad Fittler is the New South Welshman called out. But there was no stopping of the clock. Queensland gets the penalty. Meninga finds the line. David Fairley now on for New South Wales. The tap to be taken. Steve Walter. Willie Kahn takes it 20 metres in from his sideline. Double run around. Ball goes to ground. Steve Walters has to clean up. They must score in this set of six Queensland. Jackson. Ten metres out. Mark Coyne is getting ready to come back on. Langer tries to do it himself. Coyne is back there now. Kevin Walters. 
steps and gets a whistle. Oh, it's a try. Kevin Walters. Here they come. Adjacent to the uprights. 16 points to 10. And still plenty of time for the Marines to win this. Let me tell you, Kevin Walters, a nice little piece of footwork here. There's nothing doing. He looks left. The defence comes up. He beats fairly on the on the inside. Lazarus gets him as he goes over next to the post. I think, I think you'll find that New South Wales thought they had this game won. You'll also find that Glenn Lazarus had a little bit of trouble with the referee as he comes up. As the ball comes out now, and he frees the play there. There you see Glenn Lazarus in behind the referee. Kevin Wallace steps back inside. His play continues, but Lazarus was out of the line. The conversion attempt is successful from Dale Shearer, so a four-point margin. 16-12, the Blues. And welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium. We've got four minutes and 27 seconds remaining. Queensland are trailing by 16 to 12. Can they pull it out of the fire? Can they keep the series alive? 27 metres out from their own line. This is Billy Moore, just put back into the game during that break by Wally Lewis. Steve Walters away for Langer. A cutout pass on Darren Smith, finding Gilmeister. Walters again, wrestled down by McCormick, but able to throw the pass. Gilmeister gets it away, Steve Jackson comes back. Gilmeister tries to work up the centre, the ball goes loose, and Eddie Ward plays the advantage to New South Wales. That could be the ball game. New South Wales back in position now, only 30 metres out from the Queensland line. Players everywhere you look, some of them down looking for attention, others are limping. Sirenham. 29 metres out from the line. Playing it very slowly. That's the order of the uh, the order of the day for the Blues now. Ebbinghausen. 20 metres out. McCormick away for Taylor. Taylor turns the pass confidently. Fairly now. Right in the centre of the ground. Leading 16 to 12. It goes back for Brad Mackay. One of the try scorers in this match for the Blues. Five gone. McCormick, Fittler, tries to wait the kick into the end goal. Does well. Darren Smith it is that puts it over the dead ball line. That's the play. It is. A young player. He's got an old head on his shoulders. Brad Fittler. Jason Croker getting another taste of state of origin football. Restart a long one from Dale Shearer. Taken by Jimmy Brasher. One of New South Wales' best. Brasher coming back. 15 metres into Queensland territory. Eddinghausen. Taylor. Fairly. Mark Hone makes the tackle low. Langer over the top. Gillespie. Well, if Stewart got the points in Queensland, I'm, I'm tempted to suggest that Langer's got them down here tonight. Mackay. McCormick to dummy half. Seconds ticking away. Inside the two-minute mark, Jason Taylor. This is the last. Daly calls for it on the blind side. Tries to wait the kick in. But Julian O'Neill goes away in jumper number 14. One and a half minutes left to go. They've got to go 90 metres, Queensland. If anyone can, they're capable of it, but this New South Wales defence knows that they've only got to last that period of time to take out the series for 93. Lang up. Walters. Billy Moore. One minute and 15 seconds to go. Langer across for Dale Shearer. Back for Kevin Walters and away for Steve Jackson. Now for Gilmeister. Meninga. He gives Bobby Linder a 
chance out there on the right wing. Back for Meninga. Meninga. Game is on the halfway. He's got 30 to go. He draws the defence. Gives it to Mark Home. And Home gives the pass back to New South Wales. Well, I'll tell you what, I really can't understand why Mel didn't put his head down and go for the line. He stopped and waited for support. Here's an now penalty to the Blues. It's all over. But that last break was Queezer's last chance. He had, to take the, he had to take the opportunity of getting there himself. He tried to position the support player. This is great work to get rid of Tim Brasher. Well, he, I think yeah. you find it's Mark Holmes supporting. Yeah. So he beats the defence. I mean, he had to just... He's got to take Daly on. Had to take him on and go for the line. And that was it. Just a matter of 12 seconds remaining. The series has been won by the New South Wales Blues. There goes the roar from the crowd. 16 to 12, it's all over. Lang Park becomes academic. We'll go there anyway, Ray. That's for sure. You wouldn't miss one of these, would you? No well, full, full march to the Blues, they deserve their victory. 2-0 in the series, they played very well, first 10 minutes of the second half belonged to them, they went from 6-0 down to a 10-6 lead, and that virtually won them the football game, Alan Langer had a great game, please that'll be a case of missed opportunities for them. Paul, you look back at incidents during the game, the try scored from the touch in flight, from the kick from Stewart, it, it really broke the game wide open. Well, it could have been 20-0 at half-time, but that's football. They didn't make the most of their opportunity. Steve Wallace had a great game as well.